This week's update happens to have um, been very lucky for me in CDT because last week I went basically bankrupt while saving for the Koenigsegg CC850 in the limited shop. Don't worry, I did get my hands on it, but it did cost me 27 million. And so now I'm in six figures for the first time in ages. Fortunately, the two cars that have been added to CDT in this week's update, both of which are fake models, seriously, can we not keep doing that, are in the star shop. So, um, I've got an abundance of stars, so this has been no problem for me at all. Thank you for this one, Foxy. You've sort of saved my bacon. Do people still say save my bacon? I don't know. It is a little bit awkward, though. A couple of days ago, I released my review of Dealership Tycoon's BMW M3 competition, the G80 version. Which is, you know, in normal people's terms, the most recent generation. Now, one of the new cars, which I'll be re reviewing later in the week, is the G82 BMW M4 competition, which is basically the same car but a two-door. Bad timing, to be honest, but it's a fake model, so therefore fundamentally worse. Now, the other car that's been added this week in the update is the Nissan GTR 50 by Ital Design. Ital Design? Ital Design? I don't know. Ital Design are cool, they've made their own car once or twice, they made the Zero Uno, which is literally 01. They're also a big design house. I think it's Giorgetto Giugiaro's design house. So, you know, Lotus Esprit sort of stuff. Pretty cool. I like them a lot. I don't really like this GTR 50 a lot, though. I think it genuinely looks, in real life, like a fake model GTR. So we've got a fake model of a fake model. And as it turns out, two wrongs make an even bigger wrong. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'll be reviewing them later in the week. The two cars that they've replaced are the Lamborghini uh, Gallardo. I can't remember which one this is. I think it's the Super Leggero um, that I'm driving right now. And also the BMW M5 I made a review of not long after it came out. So um, watch that review. It's also got a unique intro in it, which um, I think I was high while I was making. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much all for the update. I will be re reviewing these two cars probably tomorrow and today. Not today, tomorrow and Monday. And then I'll be reviewing the Dealership Tycoon cars after them. So stay tuned for those. In the meantime, um, thank you all for watching. Oh, Kenori made a video about where's the new map. Good point, where is the new map? That's a bombshell. So I'll be ending. See you all um, through, throughout the week, hopefully.